Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Sold video for you today. It is Friday, and we're gonna follow Kathy around to see what's sold for us today, and we're gonna show you guys how we ship those today. Just sending an eBay offer really fast. <laughs> Let's see if we get a sale. Okay. First up, box DB. Let me see. You moving around on today? In a good mood? <laughs> I was watching a TikTok last night that said, dogs are happy if they roll over and let you put their tummy and if they sleep like 16 hours a day. So I guess he's a very happy guy. Um, so the first thing that sold today was these OrthoFeet sandals. I have $9.99 into these and they sold for $34.34 plus shipping on eBay. That was an offer I sent out. I think I had them listed around 40. And those are just gonna go out in a padded flat rate envelope. Are you a happy guy? Oops, sorry, Bob. You a happy guy? guy? Yep, <laughs> he is a happy guy. <laughs> he got to ride in Didn't it say something like if he sleeps like 16 hours a day, he's happy too? <laughs> oh, did you say that? Yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> That's sorry. his life. Sleeping and tummy rubs. Okay. All these croc flip flops. I um, made them listed only a day, I think. Um, which I'm not surprised. These usually sell super fast. I actually picked these up for $1.99, but since I averaged my cost of goods, I have $5.26 into them, and they sold for $23.03 plus shipping. They're only about 10 ounces, but they're bigger than a standard 10 by 13 poly, so I'm just gonna put them in this longer eBay poly mailer. All right, and then DI. The first one that I have the label for is these Crocs Point Toe Flats. These ones sold on Kitizen for $28.50 free shipping. Uh, shipping costs me $5.15 through the app, and the shoes I have $5.11 into. So those are just going to go out in a poly. I did see a question on Instagram asking if we could show in the video how we put them in mailers. I don't know if they meant like this mailer or like a padded mailer, but we literally just put them in there. Like yeah. there's nothing, <laughs> we don't really do anything special to them. Um, when they're priority mail, sometimes I'll wrap them in bubble wrap just to seem like I tried harder to protect them, but <laughs> yeah. So these I literally am just gonna put the label on the front. Stick them in there and close it up. So, nothing, <laughs> nothing extra. <laughs> we do actually use these um, thank you stickers. Yeah. So we'll put that on the clear uh, bag before we put it in. But yeah, that's that's <laughs> how we do it. <laughs> Nobody's complained yet. Um, I also sold these Croc sandals on Kitizen for twenty six sixty free shipping. Shipping also was five fifteen, and I also had five eleven into these sandals. Um, and again, those will just go in a same poly. Let's do a different one though. Let's do make today a good day. <laughs> I actually had a question on these shoes on Facebook that I did not respond to because then they ended up selling like the same day, but elsewhere. So on Facebook, they asked if the dirt would come off the bottoms, which... <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna like. It's just a weird question. I don't even know how to answer yeah. those kinds of questions. So you can tell these are in great shape. Otherwise, it's just the bottoms. Yeah. And do you really care what the bottom of your shoes looks like? I guess some people do. I do not. <laughs> so to me, that was like, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know how to answer. But I'm glad <laughs> they sold really fast elsewhere. All right. And then this is box BG. These are actually some little Lennox dolphin statues. I already kind of oh, yeah. pre-wrapped them. So these were from my aunt, I mentioned before, who passed away a few years back. Um, we got several things from her home. She was obsessed with dolphins, so she had like so much dolphin stuff, but we kept these, we displayed them for probably five years. And then, like I mentioned, if we pretty much, when we had our garage sale this summer, kind of like got all of our decorations down and yeah. stuff and just, we're planning to kind of redo it all, but we haven't really got that far yet. So 
Anyways, I listed these for $12 plus shipping and somebody bought them on Facebook, so this is actually under a pound. I could have just charged a first class shipping, but I guess I charged the priority shipping, so. Um, since they're already in here in bubble wrap, we'll probably put more bubble wrap around this box and then put this box in a bigger box. Yeah. Just to give it a little extra padding. They are pretty fragile they're, since they're so little, so. Yeah. It's kind of one of the, the negative side effects of reselling where you become less attached to items, right? Like <laughs> we, uh, I, I mean, we're not by nature, we're very, yeah. we're not very sentimental about items anyway. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, sometimes like I'll pick up something really cool that I've been wanting forever and like, like I'll find something in my size and I'm like, I've been wanting this exact thing. Yeah. Like I found these Sorel boots that I've been wanting and I have them and they're in my closet right now. <laughs> but like, I've had a few opportunities to wear them and I didn't wear them. So <laughs> I don't know if that's just cause, I don't know. We're like, creatures I'm probably of gonna just yeah. end up selling them even though I've wanted them and I found them for a very cheap price, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You guys see me wear the same five shirts every week, so. <laughs> Sold a couple bras. This is the first one. This one sold on Poshmark. I think I had them listed at $38. Someone offered me $35, so that was a very, yeah. very, very generous offer. Happy to accept that. I have nothing into these anymore, so. Complete profit from there. Um, since that is Poshmark, we'll probably do one of these little square boxes. And since it's been a while, it's been almost a year since we picked up those bras yep. last November. Uh, but just to clarify, they did cost money, right? Because we got yeah. them at the bins, or Kathy got them at the bins. And they're only a couple ounces each. Yeah. I did get them at the bins, but by the time I typed in my haul from that day, I had already, my whole haul was like 30 bucks, and I had already sold at least one thing that covered the 30, so yeah. I just typed the rest in a zero. So yeah. If so, I yeah. did type in cost of goods, it would have been like 25, 50 cents. Right, each, so. right. We don't have some secret no. source that we can get free third I love wish. bras. <laughs> it was just like a one. I wish. I've probably made, Oh yeah, it was... I mean, at least the lowest I've been getting is like $18. This I profited $28 on. So yeah, somewhere between 18 to 25 for most of them times like 60 something bras. Yeah. It was definitely a great find. And that was on my birthday last year. So. Yeah. That was a great birthday party. I just say, because we've gotten a couple questions over the past few months or so, wondering where we got free bras. Right. <laughs> because she she considers them yeah. no cost at this point, because like she was saying, but yeah. yeah. So normally our bins, I will take however many items I got, divide it by the total, and then right. like that day I got 60 something bras plus several other things. So you can do the math there. Right. Yeah, it was definitely under 50 cents an item. So rather than you know, keeping track of yeah. that, what, 48 cents or whatever. Yeah. We just said, <laughs> okay, it's all paid for. <laughs> so <laughs> it's no cost to us from then on out. So just wanted to clarify that a little bit because it can be confusing. Yeah. Um, when you I know, hear we get it. new viewers every day. Right. So. All right, this is something that finally sold. I got this at the Labor Day Dillard sale last year. So just over a year I've had it now. And this is the last Gal Meets Glam dress that I have to sell. Um, I have $20.75 into it, and I accepted a $65 offer, so more than double my money. It did take a year, but I got, what, six, seven, eight dresses that day, and they yeah. all sold. This is probably the lowest selling one, or I've at least profited 20 off of them all. Some of them I profited like 50 off of, so it was definitely a good pickup. Um, so yeah, I would definitely pick up that brand again. I don't. I don't usually check dresses. I don't even know why I did at the Dillard's that day. So what box am I looking for? I think this is a good one for it. It's just a flat mailing box. All right, and the box K. This is the brand Next. And this is just a little snowsuit for a baby. It sold for $25 on Posh. That was an offer I accepted. I've had this listed a while, but I listed it kind of at the end of last winter. So um, now that we're coming into a new winter and yeah, 25, I had $3.99 into that. Uh, this is kind of bulky, so it won't be able to fit in a flat, honestly. And I feel like the is big that? box is a little big. I might actually put that in a shoe box. <laughs> shoe box or like a regional B, probably. Oh yeah, the regional Bs are good. 
I always forget about those. Yeah, that'll fit in there, I think. Cool. All right, box baby. Always, oh, you gotta move your head. Little baby boy. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Yeah, that, that tummy rub. All right, this is from my recent haul, which you guys will have seen by the time this video comes out. So uh, this is just that Harry Potter H&M sweatshirt. It got a ton of interest right away, like on all platforms. And I accepted an offer on Mercari of $16 plus shipping. First day it was listed and I had $3.99 into that. So around a $10 profit there. That is under a pound, so it's just gonna go in a poly. <laughs> He's just on face. <laughs> All right, last but not least, one more bra sold. I think this was for my older one. It must be this one, because it was like a purple color. Yeah. All right, this is actually a viewer sale, but they asked to remain anonymous, so you know who you are. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, this one sold for twenty two fourteen plus shipping, so really awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for the support, yes. anonymous <laughs> viewer. Yes. <laughs> we appreciate it. Very and that was the last one? Yep. So we're going to get this oh, stuff. And then, so this, oh. the bras I ship out. If it's not Poshmark, I ship them in these boxes that we got specifically kind of for them. Yeah. So they're just like a square, and then I'll put it in the plastic, and I try to put some of the... What's the dimension what on the box? Oh yeah, Pops. those air pillows. <laughs> right, the air pillows. Inside. So we get we save a bunch of air. So that's eight by eight by eight. Okay. Yeah, we save all the Amazon air pillows. Whenever we get orders, we have a couple family members and neighbors that all save packing material for us, and we use that. In that case, where we just kind of stuff. Just stuff, kinda stuff yeah. that, just so that they don't have to get too smushed. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, we're gonna get this stuff all packed up. Are you gonna help us today, Reese? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Pretends like he doesn't even hear you. <laughs> we'll be right back, y'all. All right, guys, got everything packed up. Reese, you were great at helping. <laughs> and yeah, that's all we have going on today. Yeah, it's early. It's 1.30. We're actually taking our kids out of school, and now we're early to go to a birthday party. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Should be a nice, fun evening, and nice weekend but yeah and as far as the calendar goes we haven't really updated much but kathy a lot yesterday. kathy's been doing pretty good on the listings and guys look i listed <laughs> two items today for 30 dollars. <laughs> i'm such an awesome reseller <laughs> those are just some things that i've had on this table for a long time and finally got to listing so i'm trying to list the stuff that i don't want to list first just to try to i don't know it's not really making me that motivated yet, <laughs> but I do have one other thing I got a list, which is valued a little bit more than that stuff that I was doing earlier, but. You need a list of stuff that's gonna sit fast, because then you'll be motivated. To that is true. More. That's probably the better way to do it. <laughs> I, I'm just the kind of guy that I usually try to do the hardest thing and the thing I don't want to do first. Um, I don't know how well that translates into <laughs> reselling, but. Um, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> let us know. What are you guys? Are you are you a easy stuff first, like the low hanging fruit, or are you trying to get to the you know very top of the tree first? Um, let us know down in the comments. But I think that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We do gotta get the stuff off to the post office and pull the kids out of school to go hang out at a little party. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.